Here we go again, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go again. About what I'm about to say. What I'm about to do. This WWE prediction, Extreme Rules prediction match card. We have 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 match cards on the Extreme Rules. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be a boring pay-per-view man. Pay per view match. I'm sorry, I'll say match. It's gonna be a boring pay per view. But without further ado, let me get started on this um, cruise rate prediction video. Not, cru not cruise rate prediction video. Let me get started on this match. Drew, Drew Gulak versus Tony Nese. I don't even care about this match. But why would you want to take the title off, uh, title away from Drew Gulak after he won against Tony Nese? Why would you take that? The 205 Live brand is dead. 205 Live is dead. Nobody's not watching that. Nobody's not watching 205 Live no more. It's dead to me. I don't even watch it. And I'm glad I don't even watch it. So I predict um, Drew Gulak to retain his Cruiserweight Championship. Do you guys care? No. I don't care. Alright, let me move on to Roman, Undertaker, Roman Reigns and Undertaker. Versus Shane McMahon and Drew Gulak. I'm Drew McIntyre. I'm sorry. I don't even care about this match. I don't care. The only thing I care about is is Roman Reigns and the under and the Undertaker getting booed at get booed at out of get booed out of Philadelphia at Extreme Rules. That's all thing I care about. But but when I think of Extreme Rules, I'm thinking about hardcore matches. I'm thinking about the wire the. The, a bar wire match. I'm thinking about a steel cage match. I'm thinking about ladders, tables, and chairs match. Or I'm thinking about a candlestick match. I'm thinking about in the, the inferno matches. I'm thinking about ladder matches. I'm thinking about last man standing matches. But we don't get none of those. We don't get none of those at Extreme Rules. So why would you call? Why we don't we? Why we don't get those t kind of matches? And you call yourself Extreme Rules? How you, how you expect every superstar to get extreme rules without any hardcore matches? It don't make no sense. But now, this match right here is going to be garbage. Roman Reigns and Undertaker versus Shaman Man and Drew McIntyre. This match is going to be garbage. I'm not interested in this match. Moving on. Braun Strowman versus Bobby Lashley. Not interested. But I heard that Braun Strowman is going to do like what Braun Strowman do is tear stuff down. That's the only thing I'm hearing about. So, I'm not interested and Braun Strowman versus Bobby Lashley. Now moving on, but the only the only two matches I'm interested in is Alistair Black versus Cesaro. Finally, Alistair Black gets a match. After Alistair Black keep cutting promos after promo after promo after promo after promo for every two months, every two months, and finally we get Alistair Black versus Cesaro. This match is going to be a a a hard a hard hitting match. This match I'm interested in. So um, I'm predicting that Alistair Black beat Cesaro with a black mask. One, two, three. <laughs> That's about it. All right, let me move on to uh, these worthless Raw Tag Team Champions, the Revival versus the Usos. I'm not interested, but the Usos are the best tag team champions. Not champions. I'm sorry. Are the best tag team. I'm not taking that away from the Usos. So the Usos are the are the best tag team in WWE. But I predict the Revival retain the Raw Tag Team Champions. That's all I got to say from there. Alright, let me move on to the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Which is, I'm not I'm not interested. I'm sick. I don't want the, um, the, heavy, the, 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 heavy, the heavy machinery to become Tag Team Champions. I don't want to see the New Day become SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions. I don't want to see that. The only thing... The only thing I'm predicting that is Daniel Bryan and Eric Rowan will be detaining the SmackDown, SmackDown Tag Team Champions. I, I, I had enough. Can we see Xavier Woods and Big E turned on Kofi Kingston, please? That's all I want to see. Xavier Woods and Big E turned on Kofi Kingston. That's it. Now, let me move on to the, the, the hot potato United States champion, Ricochet versus AJ Styles. This match I'm interested in. I'm interested in this match. Ricochet versus AJ Styles for you the for the WWE United States Champion. That's a the that this them the only two matches I'm interested in. Ricochet versus AJ Styles and Alistair Black versus Cesaro. 
But the rest of the match card, I just don't care. I just don't care. But I already know. I want to see AJ Styles defeat Ricochet and become, and I want to see AJ Styles become your new United States Champion. Because I already know that the club is back. I already know Carl Anderson and Lou Gallows Gall is going to cost Ricochet the United States Champion. I can see that. I can see that. All right, moving on. Let me move on to uh, um, Bailey versus Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. Oh my God. I don't even care about this match. I want to see Bailey turning heel, and I'm hearing rumors that Sasha Banks may come back, come back to um to Extreme Rules, and 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 um to attack Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. But at the same time, I want to see Sa Sasha Banks turn heel and attack Bailey. That's all I want to see. That is all I want to see. So I don't really care about this match. Bailey has been so. Bailey has been all has been terrible with the SmackDown SmackDown Women's Champion. She has been terrible. Trigger mad, trigger salty, mad, disappointed. I just don't care. Bailey has been terrible with the SmackDown Live Women's Champion. That just my that just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Um, it is what it is from there. Wherever happens, happens. But I hope Sasha Banks comes back to attack. To is either Sasha Banks going to help Bailey out? To defeat Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss, or Sasha Banks turn uh, turn heel to attack Bailey. That's all I gotta say from there. All right, let me move on to uh to um what else what else on this match card? Let me move on to um Kofi Kingston versus Samoa Joe. I just said it. I don't want Kofi Kingston to win this match. I don't. But I'm predicting Kofi Kingston retains the WWE Champion. Samoa Joe's promo is absolutely gold. Samoa Joe can cut the better promo. The, Samoa Joe has the best promo in WWE. He can talk. He can talk on the mic. That's it. Samoa Joe can talk on the mic. But Kofi Kingston, nobody wants to see Kofi Kingston. You know what I'm saying throwing pancakes from the, to, towards the WWE universe. I don't want to see that. But but I'm predicting Kofi Kingston to beat Samoa Joe. To retain the WWE Champion, but I but I want to see Samoa Joe beat Kobe Kingston to become WWE Champion. That's all I gotta say from there. But I already know Kobe Kingston is gonna retain the WWE Champion until SummerSlam. I already know it is what it is from there. And now enough for that. Now we get a um, a Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins versus Applebee's, Baron Corbin and Lacey Evans. I don't even care about this match, people. I don't. Seth Rollins is not doing nothing with the Universal Champion. And they were getting promos of Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins on national television. The love connections. Enough with that love connection stuff. Can we stop showing the love connection in WWE? Can we stop that, please? But if I see Barry Corbin and Lacey Evans... When, I mean, yeah, if I see Lacey Evans become Raw Women's Champion and um, Barry Corbin become the Universal Champion, I am laughing my butt off. I'm going to say stupidity. Like like AC from New York. So AC from New York, if you're watching this video, God bless you, man. You are a freaking God, bro, when it comes to these predictions and reviews, bro. You are a freaking God. So shout out to AC from New York. So that's all I got to say from there. But I'm predicting that um, Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins retain their champions. Seth Rollins is going to retain his Universal Champion, and Becky Lynch is going to retain her Raw Women's Champion. But that's all I got to say from there. But um, but other than that, these predictions, man, the only two matches that I'm excited about is AJ Styles versus, versus Ricochet for United States Champion. And I also want to see, the also, and also another second match that I'm excited about is is Alistair Black versus Cesaro. Them the only two matches that I'm excited. Alistair Black versus Cesaro is gonna be a a hard hitting match. I thought I thought Alistair Black is gonna get a match with Randy Orton. I thought Alistair Black is gonna get a match with for prime example Selton Benjamin. But you know what I'm saying that ain't gonna happen. But I want to see Alistair Black defeat Cesaro. If they if they if if you want Cesaro if if Alistair Black lose to Cesaro, 
to Cesaro, yeah, you you just pretty much bury Alistair Black. Pretty much bury Alistair Black. Alistair Black carried the NXT champion. He carried the WWE. You know what I'm saying? He carried the NXT champion. He had a five star match against um, Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa, um, the Velveteen Dream, all that stuff. He had a match against the um, the War Raiders. You know what I'm saying on NXT. You know what I'm saying when he teamed up with somebody. You know what I'm saying Alistair Black. Alistair Black is a five star machine. When it comes to Alistair Black, he carried the NXT Championship. He had. He he has some of the best five star matches. That's all I gotta say from there. But other than that, man, I want to see Alistair Black defeat Cesaro with a black mask. One two three. That's all I gotta say from there. But anyway, the only two matches I'm excited about is Ricochet versus AJ Styles for United States Champion, and then Alistair Black versus Cesaro. Don't do the only two matches that I'm excited about. But the other match. But those other matches that I'm seeing right now, it's just garbage. I don't want to see those matches. I don't want to see that. And that's all I got to say from there. But, well, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys enjoy my WWE Extreme Rules predict, if you guys enjoy my WWE Extreme Rules prediction, review and pre pre prediction review video, give me a thumbs up on this. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down, comment down below what you guys think of Extreme Rules. And, uh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. This Sunday at Extreme Rules. Talk to you guys later.